Hello and welcome back to David's Closet. On this channel we talk about handbags, accessories, small other goods, and all of those things on a budget um, and from the male point of view. So if that's something that's interesting to you, please subscribe to my channel. Um, this video is the first of its kind here on David's Closet and I'm kind of going into the lifestyle piece of my channel and I'm showing you my home after I've decorated it for Christmas. So, um, I want to preface with my decorations and style may not be everyone's, and that's perfectly fine. I consider myself a maximalist when it comes to decorations, so it's probably overdone by most people's standards, um, but it's what I enjoy and it makes me, my husband, and my baby girl very happy. So, um, what I'm going to do is insert some clips of me just kind of taking down my fall decor and I think putting up a few things um, I tried to get some clips of that just so you guys can kind of see the process a little bit um, and maybe I'll kind of break it down for you um, at some point. Um, I'm not sure if in this video or maybe my next video, maybe I'll go into more detail on how I pack things away and store things. Um, also, let me say this was a very long process. It takes about three to four full days to get this done. So I usually take a Thursday, Friday, and then I have the weekend to take all my fall decor down and get everything put back up the way that I want it. And it also is a little stressful for our baby because she has to be um, away from all of it. Otherwise she's very interested. She's kind of funny. If she doesn't see it being done, she doesn't even notice it's there. So I have to put her in her little space, put all this stuff up, and then she comes upstairs and acts like it's always been there. So um, again, this is the first video that I've ever done like this. So, um, Please bear with me if the audio is weird or the lighting. Um, I'm still getting new to this more vlog style video. pack away all of my things based by room and specifically what it's for sometimes. So for example, my formal dining room, I have boxes marked dining room table and then dining room. That way I know the difference because that room can be very overwhelming because there's a lot there to unpack and put together. Um, I have 
a couple of shelves of a curia cabinet. I have the table itself. I have all the space around it and then a little sideboard. Um, and then for Christmas, there's also a tree in there. So I have everything labeled. I have boxes labeled dining room tree, dining room table, dining room. And if it's just dining room, that's the first thing I'm gonna go through. So I'm going to use this one and a half times zoom just so everything will fit into frame a little better. Um, but this is the front door where I was just standing. And as you can see, I just have a few odds and ends here. Um, most of my decor is old. I've had it forever. Thrifted, garage sales, all of those things. So I can kind of go into that someday for you as well if you're ever interested. But here's my entry table. I don't swap out the items at the bottom because um, they're pretty fragile and I like them a lot. So I finally have a space to display them. I just leave them. But the tabletop does get swapped out for every season. In the middle here, I have a nativity scene that my mother found at a garage sale or thrift store for $4. And it's from the store Dillard's. It's one of their holiday lines from many, many years ago. And then this is just a mix of vintage antique finds and clearance finds. Um, I tend to buy nothing full price for the holidays because you can go to a thrift store and find it for a fraction of the cost. So it's just kind of a mismatch of things that I've accumulated over the years. Um, there's really no cohesion here, but I definitely enjoy this. So you will notice these little spikes on the floor um, that's to keep Diva from jumping up here and climbing to the tree. Um, that's something that she told me she likes to do now. So um, she has to be good. But this is my favorite tree. This is my entryway tree. Um, I, When we bought this house, it's actually one of the main reasons I wanted this home was because of this grand entryway that was big enough for a tree. And I wanted something that wasn't massive and overwhelming. Ideally, I wanted something taller. I believe this is a 10 foot. I wanted a 12 foot, but the problem is 12 foot trees typically don't come in the pencil size. And I had to have a pencil tree so it doesn't protrude out too far because I don't want it to block my clock and look overcrowded, which I know some people are thinking that's ironic considering this hot mess express. Um, but I definitely wanted a pencil tree and I wanted something a little bit different. You'll see all of my big trees are very different. So this one I wanted flocked, and this is the only tree that I paid closer to full price for because we moved in here in the summer of 2020 and I needed a tree. So I wasn't able to wait till after the holidays. So I paid full price at the craft store um, and I think it was about $299. So I definitely paid a lot for it, but it's my absolute favorite and it was perfect size and everything. Most pencil trees are only about seven feet, so the fact that I found a 10-footer, I really couldn't complain. You'll see I have birdies on it. Um, when I first had it before we got Diva, I obviously had more birdies and woodland critters that you'll see spread out in other spaces. Um, but with her, I tried to limit her desire to touch this. And then my grandfather clock, his name is Cogsworth. He doesn't keep time very well. I picked him up at a yard sale for $20. Uh, my brother-in-law actually negotiated. The guy wanted 100 and we walked out with 20 He doesn't keep time. I always joke and say he's drunk and does whatever he wants. Um, but I love the sounds he makes and he's very cute. So I love to decorate him. I have this angel that was originally purchased on clearance for another tree, but it didn't quite fit. So I thought she looked really pretty here, especially with the blue wall. This is the first year I've had this blue wall. So I like the way everything kind of pops off of it. And then you'll see my little mice. Um, I kind of like the idea of hickory dickory dock. And the mouse ran up the clock. And then here's the view of this area. From here, you will also see 
this little bear guy down here. Um, I really, really enjoy him. I got him at a garage sale for $5. Here is my Eden kitchen area. So I have a really cute, just little menagerie of things. The two Linux Christmas trees on the ends my mother-in-law gave me a couple of years ago. She is a thrifty shopper as well as my mother and always finds neat and exciting things. And the other little figurines and pieces I just picked up at garage sales and thrift stores and the tree I got at Michael's a couple years ago uh, for $2 on clearance. Over here is one of my husband's new favorite pieces. It's a vintage blow mold style Christmas tree. It's meant for outside, but for how much it costs, it's going to stay in here. Plus, Diva can't destroy it. And then over there, you'll see my little light post. I've had that for years. We purchased it when we bought our first home, um, and I will just treasure that because I think it's so cute, and I just love the way it glows. In the kitchen here, I have this little corner where my decorative KitchenAid sits. I have this one for decoration and then I have a one I actually use um, because this one is just very special to me and I love the color so I don't like using it because I'm weird. So I, for Christmas a couple years ago, asked for one from my mother so I have a different one. Um, but here is a vintage style Christmas tree and just a couple other fun Christmas finds. Cross, here's my stove top. Just has a few little decorations on top. And then over here on this corner, I have, again, just a few vintage finds and the little board Christmas tree that you see there in the, the pot, that actually is part of a broken item. I received last year a um, set with that little board and then it had three little green dishes that fit in the slots um, for like a charcuterie board. And when I was opening it, I had it upside down and I broke the green dishes unfortunately but don't worry it didn't go to waste i think it's a very cute addition to my utensils and then over here i just have a wreath on my pantry door and then atop the refrigerator is some of my woodland critters that would have been around my entryway tree and you're hearing cogsworth right now he's drunk he thinks it's something else um, anyway i can't have these on the ground because diva obviously would destroy them so on top of the fridge is a great place this little cabinet is one of my favorite additions to our home. Um, we recently purchased it this year. My previous neighbor actually helped me locate and negotiate it on Facebook Marketplace. She's kind of a professional there. Um, so I use this to decorate for every season. And I'll just kind of go through here. This is not a vintage tree. Um, I purchased it on clearance a couple years ago, but it goes up here. And I did find these two little metal figures at Dollar Tree to go with it. And then if you pan down, here's just another shelf. Again, everything in here was either clearance or thrift store, garage sale style finds. That tree is actually very special. My husband, um, that was his grandmother's vintage ceramic Christmas tree. Um, I have the base downstairs. There's no way to plug it in. Um, I don't think the base works. I think it needs rewired. So I just think it's a cute addition in here um, and the light from the cabinet lights it up enough. Okay, so as you can see from the previous shot, here is our original main Christmas tree is what I call it. Um, this was the first tree we had in our previous home. When we moved into that house, it had taller ceilings and I had a six and a half foot tree and it just didn't work. So we found this on clearance. Um, we moved into our home in February of that, the year we purchased it. I don't remember the year, I think it was 2017. So we were able to buy this on clearance and have it for our first holiday there. Um, it changes colors, the lights do. It's not a super expensive tree, but I definitely like it and I'm gonna keep it forever. And these ornaments are a menagerie of ornaments that I've had for probably 15 years. Um, I used to decorate my room as a child in blue and silver, and then when I had my first apartment um, when I was in college, I continued the trend. So most of these ornaments are original to that. There are a couple special ones in here. Obviously, Miss Diva. And then my husband and I love to travel, so we have an airplane. 
We have our turtle doves. I think they're absolutely beautiful. My sister actually got those for us a couple of years ago. And then these little teal pine cone type ornaments. We actually purchased those in Estes Park at one of the Christmas shops a couple of years ago. So I love to have those on our tree as well. And then we also have a semi-tacky Welcome to Las Vegas ornament because Las Vegas is one of our favorite places to visit. And here is the fireplace mantle. So up here, I just have some nutcrackers, candles, some birds, nothing super crazy. And then our stockings, um, and I hang ornaments on the little command hooks. By the way, that's what I use is command hooks to hang these. I used to use the little um, fireplace stocking hangers that have a, you know, a weight, they sit on top and they have a hook. But this fireplace is so intricate around the mantle, the way it's curved. Those didn't work very well. Um, and especially with a 12 pound fur ball that likes to pull on things, it was a disaster waiting to happen. So I just used command hooks. Last year for her stocking in the center, I was able to use a command hook and it worked perfectly. So I did use that for all of our stockings this year. This represents my husband because he likes books. Um, he likes to listen to audiobooks while he drives and things of that nature. And then a pride tree because he loves pride. He loves the rainbow and all of the beautiful colors. This one is obviously Miss Diva's because she's on it and she loves treats. And then this one's me. Um, I don't know why, I just, this ornament is so cute and I love it. And then this guy has a backpack on and I love bags. So I thought that it was a great representation of me that was very cohesive. Down here we have our village, and then there is a cat mat for Miss Diva to lay by the fire. Um, I do have the electrical cords for almost all of these, but I don't use them because unfortunately Miss Diva does like to chew on cords and mess with things, so I tried to eliminate that concern. Um, but this was all purchased either on clearance after the season or from garage sales and thrift stores. Now this room is my pride and joy, it's my formal dining room. And I've always been a fan of overly done dining room tablescapes. So I take that passion and continue it. I love putting a bow on my lamp. I think that is just so cute. I think it, I don't know, I just love it. And then as you saw, when we were at the entry of this room, I have my cabinet here. And these are all the woodland critters that went in and or around that Christmas tree in the entryway. Um, but up here they are safe from the predator that lives in my house. So I just have a big owl and a couple of other cuties. Um, I absolutely love these. This shelf has a lot of special items. My mother knows that I love vintage Pyrex, so she located the Christmas red set and then the hunter green set. And I was able to blend those together to make a really cute display. And as you can tell, I love vintage everything. Now this shelf was a challenge because Diva can access this shelf. So I had to make it spaced out enough where she doesn't want to jump on it, but also so it looks somewhat pretty. So I think I did a decent job here. Again, just a bunch of items that I already had. Um, most of these were in boxes that were destined for garage sales. So I was able to pull those out and use them. This Christmas tree is probably also one of my favorites. I say that about all of them, just like I do my handbags. Um, but this tree is so different. It's a rose gold tree. I actually purchased this tree before we knew we were going to sell our previous house. And our previous house was a little bit smaller than this one. And the layout was much more open. So I didn't have a lot of room for extra trees. But I was determined to find room for this one because I thought it was so beautiful. Um, if you just look at it, it looks more silver than anything, but it is a really pretty subtle blush, rosy gold color. So when we moved here, I knew that this dining room was the perfect location. And that's what I actually bought that angel in the entryway for. But of course, it didn't fit because this tree is a little bit smaller. So I was going to do an all pink arrangement, but then over the years, I've grown my collection of ornaments. So this is now just kind of my fun catch-all tree. Um, up top, I do have an angel that fits. Uh, growing up, we always had angels on our trees, so um, I definitely wanted an angel on one of my trees. I picked this up for $2.99 at Goodwill. And then this ornament my mother-in-law either made for my husband or bought it for him, I don't remember. Um, but then I just have a couple of other ornaments. Most of them are either gifted, thrifted, garage sale, or clearance. 
Some of my favorites are my Waterford ornaments. I have a whole set of these. My mother-in-law did a Secret Santa white elephant style gift exchange one year when we went on vacation for Christmas and I was able to snag those and I think they're absolutely beautiful. And then of course, our baby's first Christmas from 2022. And then her little ornament. And as we all know, I love New York City, so I have another taxi ornament. Um, just a couple of other vintage style ornaments. Nothing on here is super vintage, but I try to buy ornaments that look vintage. Some love to my husband. I put some rainbows in there, even though they don't necessarily match the best. I want him to know that he's represented in this house as well. And then the last, obviously, is my tablescapes. So everything on here is either from Dollar Tree thrift stores, or garage sales. There's a few items that I sprinkled in this year that I did pay full price for, but other than that, this is all a very inexpensive tablescape. The most expensive item on the table is actually the table runner because it's from Kate Spade, but I purchased it because it had pink bulbs on it, and I was trying to tie in some pink here when I was doing this table in this room. The first year I didn't have a lot of pink other than the bulbs, and it just kind of looked weird. I did purchase this tree and these trees. There's one on this side and the other side. Um, Hobby Lobby this year. That's a rose gold, so it blends with the tree really well. And I also like to mix my metals here. So as you'll see, the chargers are silver, gold, and red, and then silver, gold, and red. Um, I usually somehow always find things in groups of four or two, so the heads of my tables are always done a little bit differently than the four side chairs. This centerpiece is actually the first time I've used this configuration. I used to have flowers up here, but Miss Diva is attracted to flowers. So um, I was actually really, really thrilled this year to not have to spend money on a new centerpiece. I won these three goblet candle holders at a Secret Santa event at my friend's Friendsgiving Miss, is what we call it, last year. And then this uh, glass globe here in the middle with a candle. That was another Secret Santa gift or white elephant gift from my mother-in-law when we were in Colorado a couple of years ago. So I'm tr traditionally showing you the main living areas and not everything in my home because that would take forever and probably be boring, but I did want to show you this as well. I have this blow mold Santa Claus that I've had for decades. And then up here, on top of the table, I have a novelty lamp, of course, but my husband loves Legos and he builds them for fun. So I wanted to include this because he works really hard and um, I typically make majority of the decorating decisions in the house, but I do like to include his items. So I think this is a very cute Lego village. He actually bought, I think, a new piece to it this year. So we're gonna eventually have to find a better place for that, but um, this is very, very cute. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting and I hope that you learned something or maybe got inspired by some things. I know I talk a lot about, you know, buying pre-loved handbags and saving money on handbags, um, you know, and that it is possible to own and have the things you want, you know, if you're willing to make some concessions and things like that. I want to kind of do the same with home decor. And again, I know my home style is not for everyone. It's very well overdone and it's not a cohesive theme. I know Ed, and I were sharing our home decor. Cogsworth, he's so drunk. Um, anyway, we were sharing our home decor and his house is absolutely beautiful. He chose a color scheme this year and it's all the same color and every room blends together and it just looks absolutely stunning. Um, so I know that's probably more people's style, but I definitely wanted to share this and I wanted you to know that, you know, everything here is, is used, just like my handbags. The majority of my handbags are pre-loved, majority of my decor is picked up over the years. And to me, that makes it a little bit more special to me. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you don't subscribe to my channel yet, can you please hit that subscribe button? It will really help me. I'm really working hard to grow my channel. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and please watch my videos. Um, every Wednesday, I'm gonna try to do a more vlog style, just kind of update video. And then on Saturdays is going to be more of my normal handbag luxury content. So thank you so much again. Have a happy holidays and please let me know below what you think if you have any questions about anything you saw or anything. Thank you so much. Bye guys.